Greetings to all of you out in guitar world. I've got a cool thing on my lap here. You can't very well see what it says on it because somebody painted over it. But at one time, it said um, the Stanford, S-T-A-N-F-O-R-D, like Stanford University. And you can see that it's got a, it says slim on the truss rod cover. It's got a flower pot inlay. In the back of the bag head, it's got a five-pointed star there. If you look close, you can see that those tuners have little fleur-de-lis on them. And if you look at that tailpiece, you can see it says citation on it. Um, hard to tell in this light, but it says it. Just about catch it there. So this is a guitar that I think somebody tried to turn into a citation, which is a famous, well, actually not famous, but it's a, in the right circles, very well-known Gibson jazz guitar. Citation was their top of the line guitar starting in the late 60s sometime. Anyway, this is the label also says that the top and the back were tuned by Aaron Cowles, my father. And it's beautiful uh, curly maple back, typical of a citation style. It has the heel of the guitar is but the neck is covered up by the back and there's binding around it. It's really pretty. It's got multiple line binding in the back. There's lines in the side of the binding. Something strange. This has side dots on both sides of the neck. I've never seen that before other than, you know, something that's been converted over from a left-handed to right-handed or vice versa. It's got a great acoustic tone. It's a gorgeous guitar. It's a hand-wound Kent Armstrong pickup in it. This was sent to me by a friend of mine who lives in Illinois. And uh, it's back where it uh, was born. I am unsure if this was made by my dad or if it were, if it's possible that just the top and the back were carved by my dad. It's hard to know at this late juncture because it's from 1989 and my dad died six years ago, so he can't very well answer questions. And, uh, oh, the back of the peg head, there are two little holes right there where there was some sort of a little emblem or something on it. Uh, probably a piece of, if it's done the way they usually were done, it's probably a little piece of uh, mother of pearl inlay that's got something engraved on it, and it was tacked onto it, you know, with two little brass pins or something. Anyway, this is a really cool guitar and I wanted to uh, make a video of it and let uh, my friends see it and let everybody else see it. And I, maybe I'll make one later after I plug it in and check it out, but it plays really nice and it sounds great. And oh, it's just a really nice example of a handmade guitar. And so what I think what I was saying before, what I think happened, somebody commissioned this through somebody that worked at Heritage, probably. But I don't know if all the work other than the top was done at Heritage or what. I'm really not sure. And like I said, most of the, my dad won't be able to say anything anymore. And the guy that he probably did it through is gone too. So, hard to know, but it's a really cool guitar. <laughs>